Hi guys, it's Cindy, aka Disney Queen. Today we're going to chat about Disney, so stay tuned. Hi guys, it's Cindy, aka Disney Queen. Boy, it seems like it's been a minute since we chatted about Disney, but it really hasn't been that long. <clears throat> and there are a few updates since our last chat. And so I thought I'd get right into it. Okay, first of all, I'm so excited that so many of the live performances are coming back, that um, the drummers are back in Animal Kingdom. That is one that I always look forward to seeing when we would go to Animal Kingdom. And you guys know Animal Kingdom is like not really my favorite park, but I really love the little um, mini shows, as I would call them, that you would see when you would go to the parks. And so the fact that a lot of the um, performers are coming back and are able to participate, it just makes my heart sing. Um, because one, it means that um, people are able to get back to work. Uh, and that to me is the most important part about Walt Disney World is the people, the cast members, the people who work there. They are the ones that make Walt Disney World so special. Yes, I love the rides. Yes, I love um, the food and the merchandise, but I also like the interaction with people and the shows and the performances. And um, that to me is what makes Disney so special, so different from other um, parks is just um, how special the, the cast members can make you feel um, about a trip. Not only are the individual performers, not only are the individual performers coming back, but there is going to be parades, which Man, it seems like it's been forever since we've had a good parade. There's a couple of rumors even about special parades that we haven't seen in a long time. But just the fact that parades are coming back, I think it's going to be fantastic for those of you who are going to be going to Walt Disney World. Because okay, I, I know parades are not every person's thing, but I love the parades. I love seeing all the different characters. The cavalcades were nice. But a full parade where you just immerse yourself in it, like, and all the music, you just, you just can't beat that feeling. That's just me personally. I am a parade girl. We will sit and wait for a parade especially the um the daytime parade where you can see all if you want to see characters that's when you're going to be able to see characters if you're not able to go to all of the meet and greets speaking of meet and greets meet and greets are back cinderella tiana they are back to greeting people yes it is a little bit different you still don't get to like go up and hug them but they are back in their meeting spots. Mickey is back in his meeting spot. So you get to take a picture with Mickey again. I mean, I'm not going to say it's our new normal. It's a different normal. But it is so great that these things are coming back. And that Disney is trying the best that they can to make it possible for you to have even more memories while you at, at while you are at Disney. So I'm super excited about that. I think it's great for the families. It's great for the kids. It's great for us big kids who just love taking pictures with the characters. Um, I'm one of those people. So the fact that they are coming back is a good sign. Um, I hear that Indiana Jones stunt show is returning. That is good because, um, I mean, let's just face facts. Even though things were not at full capacity, there were some parks that were missing, um, just missing, you know, parts of it that made it special. And it also meant that there were less things for people to choose from so you could easily you know be caught in a long line because you're 
just trying to get on a ride. And so this means that more rides are coming back, shows are coming back, so there's more ways to disperse the crowd. And so hopefully that means that the lines won't be super crazy. As we know, Lightning Lane has gone into effect and I've seen mixed reviews. I've seen people who really like it because it keeps them from being in a line for a long period of time, especially if they have young children. I've seen some people who say, depending on what park you go to, that makes a difference on whether it is worth the cost for you. I won't be able to fully judge it until I actually go on a trip and who knows what it's gonna look like by the time I get to go. It may be completely different. Um, so depending on who you talk to, some people love it, some people don't love it. Um, but the fact that there is now going to be more things for you to choose from, I think that is gonna make a big difference in people's uh, visit to the park. Um, I'm super excited that all of the Christmas stuff has um, gone up. I am a Christmas girl. I am going to do be doing a special um, chat about Christmas at Disney next month during my 12 days of Christmas. So you have to stay tuned for that. Um, I'm super excited about that because I love Christmas time. One thing I forgot to say is that the new Cirque du Soleil show has opened at Disney. Um, I keep calling it downtown Disney guys, but at Disney Springs and um, I have not ever actually been to a Circus Delay um, performance, but I've seen like performances on TV and it looks amazing whenever they do a show. So it's like on my bucket list of things that I'd like to see at least once. So if you've been to a Circus Delay um, event, please let me know what you thought of it, what it was like. Is it worth the money? Uh, I'm just interested to know because it looks amazing anytime I've ever seen one of their shows on TV. I think the biggest news that I heard recently is the fact that the Toontown at Disneyland is closing and they're going to be reimagining it and that it will open back up. I think it is in um, 2023, which will also include Runaway, Runaway Railroad at Disneyland. So I'm excited for the people in California who get to, to, to try out their Runaway Railroad. Um, I'm still waiting to to get on it um when we went to disney last they were just closing the theater so that they could start prepping and preparing for the ride and so i've seen videos of it and pictures but i haven't been able to experience it for myself so it will definitely be on the list of places that we go to on our next trip um but i know that the toontown at disneyland is like really popular and people really love it. I was devastated when they closed the one at Walt Disney World. I miss Mickey and Minnie's house. I'm really hoping that they don't get rid of it at the one in Disneyland. Um, but, you know, you just don't know. The only other uh, rumor, well, I don't know that it's a rumor anymore because I think Disney actually announced that um, the dining plan will be coming back now what kind of dining plan it's going to be how much it's going to cost and you know what changes are going to be made to it because i guarantee there's going to be some changes to it um they didn't say they just put out a notice that it was going to be coming back i believe next year and so we'll just have to wait and see i've never actually done the dining plan um it's something i've always wanted to do but we couldn't justify the cost. And so I know some people really like having a dining plan. I know my friends on the other side of the water, they like having a dining plan because it's usually included for free when they do a, um, a package deal to come over here. And so I know that a lot of them will be excited to have it back. Um, for their trips. So we'll just have to wait and see what Disney has up his sleeve. Um, I know that soon the the um, bus transportation from the airport is going to be closing and that you will have to start using mirrors or find another way to get to the parks. Um, 
I'm hoping, I'm hoping, don't know, you know, anything concrete. I'm really hoping that Disney will come up with another solution. Um, I do know at first people were talking about there was going to be the train, um, but that has kind of been delayed. So who knows what or if that's going to happen. Um, but I'm really hoping that Disney has something else up their sleeve that they just haven't revealed to us yet. At least I'm hoping that's what they do. I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? Do you think that transportation from the airport from now on is just going to be on us? Or do you think that at some point um, Disney may revive their own transportation? Uh, only time will tell. This is probably one of my shortest chats that I've ever done, but um, I didn't want to not acknowledge all of the exciting things that are happening. Um, I did want to give you kind of a little sneak into the fact that I was going to be doing something special for Christmas. And let's just say the more and more I see, the more and more I get excited about all of the things that are happening at Disney. Um, I know that, you know, a lot of people still feel like, you know, Disney has lost some of its magic. I know prices have gone up, but I mean, let's face it, guys, prices have gone up, not just at Disney, but we're paying more for our gas. We're paying more for our food. Um, hopefully at some point that'll kind of even out. Um, but I just think it's a, just a sign of the times right now. Um, but there are still always ways that you can, um, you know, do Disney and do it on a budget. Um, if you haven't seen my budget videos, you should watch those. I'll put a link below. But uh, overall, I think some of the magic of Disney is coming back. And I especially think with Christmas around the corner that it's going to be magical for those who uh, go. Uh, and so don't give up on Disney yet and just hang in there. You know, it's going to get better. I just believe that. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? And if you'd like to know when the next video will come out, all you have to do is hit that little notification bell below. So until I see you the next time, have a blessed day, guys. Bye.